So Dominica. Whoa. It looks like Dominica, but it's actually Dominica, what I've found out today. And that's where we're going. We're getting right into it. I know it's been a little while, but (laughs) hey, straight off the bat, Dominica. Here's where we're going. (laughs) I'm excited. She sounds hot. (laughs) <laughs> she does. I, mean, I think she is hot, and I think as far as countries go, this is this might be the hottest country, not temperature wise, but uh, just what it's got going for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the slogan for this place is "Tall is her body." Huh? That's like their. I don't know. I don't know where it comes from, but that's basically tall their, is your body. Tall is her body, oh, tall, referring tall to body. Dominica. Okay. So not to be confused with Dominican Republic. It's kind of close, but. Not super close as far as uh, there's other countries that are closer to Dominican Republic, but okay. Dominica, it's an island. It's on its own in the Caribbean, kind of a small, small little island. Um, so, yeah, we're back in the Caribbean. First time since right. episode three, I think, when we went to St. Kitts and Nevis. So, yeah, if you've seen that yeah. episode, you'll definitely see some parallels because it's it's similar in a lot of ways. But um but yeah, let's get into it. So the capital's Ros- Rosso, Rosu. Okay. It's like a French name, but um, they don't actually speak French here. So that kind of threw me off. <laughs> um, the size is about 72,000. People? People. Okay. <laughs> people. I don't know. Square kilometers. <laughs> square feet. The size yeah. of <laughs> Yeah. 72,000 people. The, the, the size physically is 750 square kilometers. So about 200 and... 50 square miles. Ah, oh, tiny. So it's it's tiny. Yeah. Barely a country, if you ask huh. me, but hey. <laughs> That's uh, an insult, Jeff. You better <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a small area. And it's actually, it's in between two territories. So there's... Yeah, where is it? Sorry, yeah. I mean, I, we'll show this after, I'm sure, in a visual. But. Yeah. We'll put up the graphic, but Martinique and Guadeloupe okay. Islands, which are both, I think, French territories. I would assume. Martinique and it's kind of sandwiched in between. <laughs> they don't speak French here, though, despite the proximity to the French islands and the French sounding capital. They speak English and a lot of people speak Creole. So right. kind of like is, a lot of places we've been where I mean, Creole is like French and French, English and like native African languages. Yeah. I guess, yeah. In, yeah. Okay. in some way. But I think most of the people or like most of the government and legislation and everything, everybody here speaks English. It was named Dominica. After Sunday, because that's when they found it, the well, explorers. Okay, which I guess is Latin for Sunday. So, um, yeah, isn't in Spanish Domingo? Yeah, Domingo. Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of the summary of everything: island in the Caribbean, near all the other islands. But th- this place is a little different than some of the other places, and I think we a lot of us haven't heard of it just because they don't have a lot of tourism. So okay. everybody who goes to St. Kitts and Nevis or St. Lucia or St. Mm. Vincent or St. whatever the other saints are. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Thompson? Is that one of Thomas? St. Thomas. St. Thomas. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, nobody goes here, apparently. They don't do a good job of promoting their tourism here. Is there a reason why people don't go there? A little bit. So yeah. we'll get into that. And I think it's because of their physical geography. More to come. Um, <laughs> so it, it's really rugged here. So they have a lot of mountains. It's it's more mountainous, I guess, than other Caribbean islands. Well, that makes it cool. It's not a flat beach that you can just tan your dick on, you know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I mean, they have beaches Definitely here too. Yeah. <laughs> but well, hey, they have sun. I mean, you can actually go in the mountains and tan your there dick, you and go. it's actually closer to the sun. But that's actually uh, harder on it because it's less UV protection because you're higher up. In, you know. Yeah, so we're not here for a long time. We're <laughs> yeah. here for a good time. We're here All for right. a tan time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So yeah, that I think that is one of the reasons. So there's a lot of dense forests, a lot of mountains. I guess per square per capita or whatever, it's has the most volcanoes for any country per its size. So there's ten active volcanoes on this tiny island. Oh, damn. Dang. Damn. That, damn. That's, All right. that's, that's impressive. There. That's yeah. probably a reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So per capita, this place has a lot of volcanoes. Not necessarily. I, there's probably other countries that have <laughs> like I was gonna say like Russia or something like somewhere where it's like a big area that has Russia a bunch of volcanoes. volcanoes. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, maybe that was a bad maybe one. We'll, but maybe I get when we I get there, we'll find out. But because it's so small and they only have they have ten all right here, it's very concentrated with volcanoes. 
one of the things with these volcanoes, there's a lot of hot springs. There's a lot of uh, thermal shit going on here. So they have Champagne Bay, which is a <clears throat> it's a bay <laughs> Speaking it's named of- after Champagne Shane. <laughs> but um, basically, they call it Champagne Bay because the the water's warm, or it's it's in the ocean, but it feels like you're in like a hot spring. Does that but have something to do with champagne? It's because the bubbles come up from the, oh, okay. the water. Or water, this, energy. Yeah, water, physics. Thermal parity. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's happening and it's a lot. They also have a boiling lake. So Whoa. it's a lake that is constantly boiling. So unlike want- Champagne Bay, you, I don't think you want to go swimming in this boiling lake. But you could probably cook some good food. No, yeah. you could cook your chicken <laughs> in, what was it called? Thermal Bay? I just put boiling lake. I don't boiling think that's what it's actually lake. called. <laughs> but it's a boiling lake, but I don't know. <laughs> Champagne Bay, that's actually named after somebody. Champagne Shane. Boiling <laughs> lake, it's not named after uh, boiling roiling. Or, <laughs> it just happens to be a boiling lake, but I guess there's only two in the world. Oh, really? And this is one of them, That's where the water is so hot that it, it boils. I didn't actually investigate this. Maybe it's not boiling at actual... Maybe it's just bubbling. What do you mean yeah. you didn't investigate this? You were supposed to be the only investigation into this island. Hey, look. <laughs> this one's going to be a, a a lean episode with the facts here. I usually do minimal research, but today I did real minimal research. All right? So we're going to do a lot of guessing here and a lot of... Uh, we're sorry. Back checking after. Yeah. Do, yeah. Dominica? Dominica. So Dominica. Like Dominica. Yeah. Dominica. I'm never going to get that right. Sorry. I think. <laughs> it, but it's weird because I think they're called dom- like Dominicans, but not like. From Dominican I think it's Republic. the same as the. Why people. isn't it Dominicans? Hey, again. Research, dude. <laughs> if there's Research. Any, any natives from there watching this, maybe you can give yeah. us some insight. If, if in you comments. have any insight, tell us why. Because, look, we're, we're just guessing. Half or the time Jeff we're, could just we're look shit up. That would be great. <laughs> hey, l- l- Wikipedia only has so much, all right? Even Encyclopedia Britannica has you know, limited resources. So country boys. <laughs> That's actually part of our strategy. We want to appear dumb. We actually know a lot of this. We just, we're it's like a whole joke that yeah. we have. Yeah. yeah. That's, we joke about we how dumb we are. We have doctorates. And so everybody who's cards. watching can correct us. <laughs> Okay, and then one other thing, I just wrote this down. I don't know what it is, but they have something called the Valley of Disillusion. Okay, which sounds like, like a I've, I've been in that for last a video years. game level. <laughs> now, did you look this up? <laughs> I saw a picture of it, but I don't know why they call it that. Oh, oh Jeff. I don't know. Well, I'm not looking. At it. I feel like this might be our first episode. Where we like come back like you know, yeah. six months later, and we're like, we did the research. You know what the fuck you're talking about now? Well. This is just the just some of the physical stuff, but look, it's an island. It's got volcanoes. It's got jungle. Dissolution. It, there's beaches. Yeah. What else do you need? Dissolution. Boiling lakes. The, the whole point of this show, too. Hey, we're, we're not here to educate you guys. We're here to see if w- the four of us would go there. Or not. That's the ultimate. <laughs> That's the main point. That's of the this main show. point of the show. <laughs> okay. Well, are we going to go there? Okay. Fair. So I feel like you misled the public there for a little while. <laughs> I mean, it, we want to at least give a little bit of facts. Well, I but. feel like once the public starts supporting our traveling to these countries, then we can be more honest and straightforward. But like they haven't paid for one trip. Yeah. Like once the country boys go to Suriname, or you, the Gambia. And you're like, blowing you know, the whole game, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it sounds like a treacherous island that I'm I kind of I'm, I'm interested in. My interest is peaked. So, I, I think you're interested just so you can go to Champagne Bay. I'd love to, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to bathe. Cook in some chicken. Wants to tan his dick yeah, on the mountains. Maybe some spaghetti. I mean, oh, you, you, you cook boil. everything. So one of the things it's with spaghetti. it. Spaghetti. I don't know. <laughs> boiling noodles. That's not yeah. what I think of when I think about the the Caribbean islands. Yeah, you're right. We got spaghetti. You know, when I got down to Dominica, I had the greatest spaghetti of my life. <laughs> and I boiled it myself. In the <laughs> <laughs> so like, so you go boil Perfect. It, and then you go Al dente. Champagne uh, Bay. Yeah. It doesn't sound too bad. Um, so one of the things with this place, because it has a lot of unspoiled jungles and I, I did see something where somebody said that if Columbus if he was alive now and he pulled up there it would still kind of look the same it's mm. very untouched other than a few cities like there's the main city and then a couple other cities but um, but one thing about this place is they they have a lot of 
wildlife and things that are kind of stuck here, native here. So there's a Cicero parrot, which is their national animal, and it's on their flag. That's how big this animal is to them. And it's only found there, but it's this kind of purple parrot. Um, and as a result, huh. they're the only country that has a purple, that has purple on their flag. There's one other, which is it's kind of a technicality. Nicaragua has a rainbow, so there's like a sliver of purple in their rainbow. Uh-huh. Indigo. Mm-hmm. But like it's indigo. It's not purple. <laughs> it's just crazy that there's no <laughs> other. Roy G. Bibb. Right. Where yeah. You're going. Yeah. 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 It's, it's on there, but it's <laughs> it's honest. not. There's no purple in Roy G. Bibb. <laughs> but in their flag, they're the. We'll just yeah. we'll just Matt. say that <laughs> trying to think of all the letters. <laughs> <laughs> Roy G. Bibb. <laughs> <laughs> Red, <is> orange, <laughs> <laughs> but it is crazy that there's no other country that has purple on their flag like how does every other country i don't know there's only so many colors and i feel like purple is the main one uh well we'll say historically uh when the emperors of rome wore purple because there was no way for the poor people to dye purple at that time so when you are purple, there was only like some urchin in the Mediterranean in one place that they could get the dye to make purple. So just to wear purple was like no one could get right, that royalty. color cloth. Yeah. Wow. So I think that flag not having it, especially like it's a newer color, maybe. I don't know, like as far as a lot of people wearing it. So there was like a slogan and it said like, oh, to, to chase the throne is to chase purple. Or like, because you're like going to be draped in a purple cloak and no one else has that. So Yeah, I guess. Insane. I guess that makes sense for like European countries, but you would think somewhere like Kiribati or some one of these random islands somewhere that's not as influenced, like somewhere would have purple. Sure. Somebody. Yeah. Somewhere else in the world, somebody has to have purple, right? But nope, it's only them. And it's not even like their flag. It's just a part of a parrot on their flag. It got me thinking though, with flags, coat of arms, if you had to make your own coat of arms, oh, no, okay. what are you putting on it? What's going on? And not like, purple. oh, my family name. Here's the Walsh Crest. What's, What's the what's the country boy's coat of arms if we had to make one? Ooh, okay. Ooh, I mean, uh, I like pizza. So <laughs> a, slice, a pizza slice, a cutter, slice. a pizza slice, okay, a cutter, okay, a pizza that's, cutter. That's more like yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I or feel maybe one of those ones that like rocks back. And oh forth. yeah, because that could also be used like in open combat. Yeah. Like you know. <laughs> so yours is a, a pizza cutter pizza and then cutter and um, gosh. I don't know it would be a it would be like crossing it right you'd have to have like two things yeah like a pizza cutter crossed um, with maybe like a golf club. a guitar <laughs> okay a, guitar. <laughs> a champagne bottle, champagne golf? bottle. Uh, i don't golf it was a it was a call back to jeff's uh drum bag i have a drum bag and uh, it has all my my stands and i feel like back in the day there, there'd always be a putter that was snuck in there somehow. <laughs> we, would sneak, or, we would sneak like a putter, yeah. And they'd put a putter in there. You would actually throw it in there. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Okay, all right. So then I, I, I go prank. to set up my drums and there's that's a, a, good there's a little prank. A putter yeah. could be cool. <laughs> a putter and pizza cutter. Why a should? putter and pizza cutter. That's that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> what else you guys got? Uh, dude, I have no idea. I haven't thought about that in a long time. It's like one of those things like when you make like, uh, like on... I think you could customize your shit on winning 11. Uh, oh, like your the crest? soccer game. Like you could do that. And like there's old, what, like Age of Empires. You could probably do stuff like that too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I haven't thought about that stuff in years. Um, purple, for one, I'm royalty. Okay. You're not kind yeah. of thing. You got to you gotta throw that sure. out. Sure. Okay. Yeah, Nobody else has purple. it. Nobody has yeah, it. Yeah. I feel like we go hard with purple. Yeah. I don't know whatever, <laughs> what our complimenting color is. Right. Uh-huh. But, um, what else would I put on there? Like what kind of uh, raccoon? I mean, for why me, why raccoon? Because my last name is Coon, and oh, everybody. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are the other coons? It's always been a thing with our family, so like raccoon, like it okay. could be on there. Mm-hmm. It's not the most. A purple, a purple raccoon on a, or let's just say a regular raccoon on a purple flag. Flag. That'd be yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I'm standing yeah, at attention. Like you know, when I see that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's that's a good... I have no idea what else, though. So. Gotta yes. make something badass. I feel like though. you gotta have a stripe in there or something. Every flag has some sort of accent or stripe. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else. Maybe like an orange... I would have an orange on there or maybe an orange stripe represent Florida. I mean... 
Okay, but, orange and orange and purple. That could yeah, that's ugly, I can see that. That could work. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Oh no, those sounds like Nickelodeon colors right now. Like, yeah, should yeah. Have some and just uncolored. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> some gas yeah, slime. It's just the raccoons just throwing up slime. <laughs> no, the <laughs> raccoon is getting slimed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I can and maybe the aggro crag in the background while we're while we're getting at it. Yeah, that was a, that was what the trophy was, right? Like you earned the aggro crag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was making sure I was thinking. What, the, the country boys too. I think you know we're not alcoholics, but we like to go to countries that have alcohol. That's something that's like you know big factor in us wanting to go there if it's like a Muslim country or not. True. We just nothing against it. We just like I don't know if we're gonna fly there. Yeah. But I think um, you know on our flag we need some kind of alcoholic bottle. I mean we got the champagne bottle, but maybe like. Beer, or I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Um, I know that we're in a chainmail coffers. If we could have one like a night like that <laughs> on it, you know, that'd be cool. I think it, I think we brought up Jinko several times on the show. Yeah. So maybe a night wearing Jinko, drinking yeah. a beer. Uh, a Big Johnson t shirt. And a big, there's got to be a Big Johnson t shirt for sure. Uh, do we need to have Sunny D in there at all? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Sunny D. There's no Sunny D and there's no scuba diving. That's Isn't definitely what's not. Sunny D? Yeah, <laughs> Did they? But it was called I Purple like Star. Was like, that was Sunny D's competitor, Purple oh, Star. Yeah. Okay. That was from the commercial bit. Yeah. yeah, Sunny D wouldn't dare make a purple <laughs> beverage. They're in the orange spectrum. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think with mine, if for my personal flag, there was always this joke about uh if like I always told my mom if I was gonna get a, a tattoo, it'd be a like a like a cobra, like a snake holding a gun. But he has like a big muscle arm with a gun. But something like that, that was always like a running yeah, joke man, of just like hmm. Like kinda like my shirt. Um I wanted to have like on my arm, I was gonna get a cobra with big ass muscle arms who is driving a car like this and like shifting it, you know? <laughs> and then, like Well, so the, the the snake holding the gun didn't have to be a cobra. It was just No, but I know it was, it was just one, like yeah. the idea is just a snake with a gun, just a badass like <laughs> just because I don't know, just just like the shittiest tattoo that I knew my mom would hate. Oh, so. shit. Right, right. Um my coat of arms would have like the, uh, you know, the Phoenix from the Trans Am hood. Oh, yeah. That That's would be dope. on there. The, like Rep Detroit, GM, Pontiac, there you my, go. my yeah. white trash side, you know. Yeah. Um, a skull. I'd put a skull on there just yeah. to like, you know, whatever. Does yeah. Phoenix have the skull? Or? Maybe it'd be incorporated, like those cool tattoos that have like a lot of stuff going on. And then um, Phoenix, a skull, a cobra. Yeah, a cobra. Maybe with some, like, big arms. Um, <laughs> Holding a flamethrower. Yeah, or... something. <laughs> a sword. No, like, I feel like more, like, old school. Like Flamethrower in one arm. A morning oh, a star okay. and a sword, right. you know. Yeah, and then right. the chainmail coffer on the cobra. <laughs> you really want that chainmail coffer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's Mithril, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, those are tight. No then, helmet, just the chainmail? I mean, do you need a helmet if you have chainmail? I don't know, but it, yeah. wasn't that the whole thing? Like, you wore chainmail and then a helmet. Right. Like who wore right. chainmail like without a helmet? That's, That's where they actually Under Armour got their, the, you know, the clothing company Under Armour was from chainmail originally. But, yeah. I don't know. I guess that's it. When they started in <laughs> 1530, the oldest sportswear company. <laughs> Under Armour, back when Knights 15, used to work out 14, in chainmail. 1422. <laughs> when did they switch? They're just like, you know what? People just stopped working out in chainmail. We just need to get a <laughs> spandex. <laughs> a we'll it. It's too heavy. <laughs> too heavy. I guess we'll go with Nike and Adidas. And... It's not breathable. <laughs> All right, so we kind of, I think we have our own flags, coat of arms, whatever we want to call it for our, our, th this would be like, so let's just say when country boys get our own island, this would be like our own district. So we have like the raccoon district, We're the like cobra district. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. Champagne, champagne district. Champagne district. <laughs> Um, Where the museums would be there. But then, <laughs> so our national flag. So we already kind of talked about it. Okay. So, uh, Guy with Jinkos, Big Johnson T-shirt, and chainmail. He's got <laughs> not eating at Sabaro. He's definitely got a mullet. Wait, did the Sunny yeah. D? If there's a guy the on the no. thing. He's no, got Sunny, a Sunny D is not in our national flag at all. <laughs> definitely Sunny D. Is on this uh, I, I couldn't remember where we landed. We've out, we've out no Sunny D, no scuba diving is in the flag. Wait, what? But, what kind of political situation are we talking about in this country? Are we democracy? Are we republic? What's going on? Because we're a theocracy. We're definitely putting Sunny D in this. <laughs> <laughs> we've out, we've out. All right, I guess we're a democracy. <laughs> I guess 
I'm going to lose this bet. <laughs> unless, it, unless, it, unless it was like a yeah, dictatorship, a drink, Jeff. Yeah. And I mean, you're in charge. Yeah. It's your show. So it could be a dictatorship, but that's what I was asking about. All right. Well, we'll be a democracy, and I guess we'll have Sonny D on the flag. Even though, <laughs> hey, I, I might I might start my own political party after this and try to get some revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Country hasn't even started yet, and there's already talks of revolution. I might overthrow the current <laughs> government uh, just because I don't like Sonny fucking D. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is there another reason? No, I and to be <laughs> to be fair, I I like Sonny D a lot. Mm. I just can't have it. <laughs> right. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those of you that don't know I, the Sunny D story need to go back to um, episode, episode. Jeff will fill that I in and post. Yeah. Remember which one. Well, the important <laughs> thing is, is Jeff said it, it's just I can go the rest of my life without drinking. That's you know? what it is. That's what it is. I mean, I think I could go the rest of my life without yeah, drinking I, it I too. Really but I think the only person you fair. Can is Justin, and he legitimately every time I go to his house. Oh yeah, that's right. Sunny D. <laughs> that's I, saw, right. I saw fucking Sunny D in his plate in his refrigerator, and I yes. swear he's nobody actually drinks it. I swear he's just doing it to. Fuck with Taunt you. me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the white elephant this year. It'll be a six pack of Sunny D. <laughs> That's a good idea. Right. Hopefully, this don't, episode don't doesn't any, uh... come out. Give him any ideas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, don't fucking watch this episode. <laughs> I don't but okay, so the, the country I don't think boys. He does watch them. <laughs> the country boys flag. So we have this as like our logo, maybe some sort of crest. Something. What, what else? Yeah, I mean, we're Do talking we have, about a coat of arms, like Sunny D in one side. We're, we're, like, we're saying our flag. So this is our country. So we have the uh, coat of arms in the center. Let's yeah, say. yeah, yeah. Okay. And then what's on the rest of the flag? We're just black. we're gonna go purple. We got to go purple because oh, go purple. no one else has no one it. Else is rocking purple. True. That's so true. we could do like purple and black stripes. Wow, that's yeah. cool. Purple I like and that. black. black. Yeah. yeah. Purple and black. Black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> Maybe like the like how the English flag, it's like Pittsburgh. the the like an X. We need a song. I think that's the next thing though, is we get our, our coat of arms and our flag made. Then we like get a rapper, you know, it's just like to push it, to talk about it, the colors, the what, what is it, yeah. so people care about. It. What is a country boy? Yeah, I'm oh, a boy. Oh, oh, they're here. They're here. <laughs> I think you're already onto something. Yeah, it's yeah. Not the first. Song Maybe we will something. record it. We don't need <laughs> God, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I think we have a pretty good idea of what our flag or coat of arms will look like. But well, we need we need Justin's input too. Yeah. Well, and then we're gonna get this shit made. We'll leave it here, and then flag. we'll just send this episode, or whenever we whenever we come to a conclusion, we'll just send it to a graphic designer and say, hey. We told you what we wanted. Here, do we fiber this? Be like, look, watch our episode, (laughs) like it, and then I want you to come up with something based on what we talked about because there's enough info there to make something fucking awesome. Yeah, that's true. Look, Rome wasn't built in a day. Country Boy Island (laughs) isn't built in a day either. All right, so which begs the question: Where's our island going to be? Ooh, I think I think. Close to Dominica, as far as uh, <laughs> that's about all we can afford. Is that <laughs> We're looking for stuff that just formed from volcanic <laughs> ash. That's a good. That's a good point. There, there is go. Snake Island over in Austin, uh, the middle of Lake Austin. <laughs> Maybe we could colonize there. Bam! Until people notice. Yeah. <laughs> Until people notice. It's like I think there's a bum camp down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just I know those noise. guys aren't bums. They're just. <laughs> Idiots. They're legitimate. <laughs> I mean, if we made it look like the Ewok village, you know, and it was like built up so the snakes weren't fucking with us, I feel <laughs> I feel empowered. Are you strong. scared of snakes? No. Oh, okay. No, no, not at all. Okay. But it's called Snake Island, so I just figured like they're gonna yeah, bite you. There's snakes there's there. Gonna be, okay. So you gotta be on, on your on, on your, your toes, toes when you're there. <laughs> all right. So we've gone through we've gone over the physical stuff. We know what that's like. We get it. Island. Uh, <laughs> Caribbean. Now let's go into the history. We're, look, there's a lot here. So first it was French, then it was British, and then it was independent. Um, all right. So cultural. No, I'm just kidding. But that's really all, 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 <laughs> that's I, all like, I got to. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely waiting for a lot more. <laughs> so you're like in their independence probably around the same time everyone else was kind of getting their independence. Like, yeah. So I, I think they... 
All the countries independent. Throw your territory. You and the damn that's a, is that the second Beyonce song you sung? Uh, that? Second it's Destiny's the, Child. Whatever. I don't identify with Beyonce. I do identify with Destiny's Child. You I know that the about same me, man. Oh, do <laughs> it. Very well could be the same song. I changed the lyrics. Back in the day, it was a haven for pirates. So fuck yeah. Um, there's rumors of sunken ships and treasure. Okay. So, hey, that's something it's got going for it, but. Not, I don't know. There wasn't too much to sit out with the history. That's cool. It b- just because I think too, it was very uninhabited compared to a lot of the other islands. Mm-hmm. So because of like the rugged terrain and everything, because of volcanoes or some shit. I Volcanic. Can't... Yeah, it's just it never had a big settlement like some of the other islands, yeah. or like the city never got as big. But I think because what? yeah, the volcanoes, the just kind of jagged. Terrain compared to most places, it's just different. So, right, right. Um, so that's why. But kind of going into that, so we were saying there was the original people. And you don't hear a lot about, like, Caribbean, indigenous Caribbean. A lot of the people in the Caribbean, they're either, like, African, European. Mm-hmm. But there's not a whole lot of, like, native Caribbean people They that comes to mind or that you know of. Yeah, right? who, who are they? I mean, honestly, I mean, like... They all came from somewhere else, essentially, is what we were trying to say. Well, m- most of the native Caribbean people who lived on the islands, like native uh, Puerto Ricans or native Dominicans, like, mm-hmm. a lot of them died, like, when the explorers got there just from disease and, you know, genocide and whatever else. But this place actually has the highest concentration of, like, native Caribbean people that are still oh, around. Cool. That's pretty tight. It's so OG. It's, Oh, it's oh, the uh, the Kalinago people, and they're around in some of the other islands, but I think there's 3,000 of them in Domin- Dominica. Dominica. But, <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying that. No, no, you, you got it right. you're yeah. right. I was going to say Dominica. <laughs> um, I feel like I want to, too. <laughs> like I really do. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it needs to be like... Instead of an I, like E-E, like Dominica. Yeah, yeah. Something for us honkies. Yeah. Know. <laughs> like, you know what? We're saying They it should wrong. really change it to accommodate us. <laughs> yeah. it. Not to be all white, but <laughs> could you change things to accommodate me? <laughs> but yeah, so these uh, these people, I, I think it's because of the mountain terrain. They're, they were basically able to hide out in the mountains. They kind of remained on their own for a long time. Um, but... The Caribe people were kind of like the, I don't know, the group of people that were in the Caribbean before everything was colonized. But okay. um, the Kalinago people are these people who were the last ones. I but see. they say with these people back in the day that they used to eat their enemies. So they were cannibals. Fuck yeah. Mm. Fuck yeah. Right. So legend has it, they defeat their enemies. They wouldn't take them into captive captivity. They would eat them. Mm. But that got me only, thinking. Only their enemies. They didn't need anything else or wasn't like a part of their regular diet. They would just eat their enemies, people that they killed. That's what I heard. But there wasn't a whole lot of information. That's what you heard. It's pretty resourceful. <laughs> yeah. Out there. <laughs> let's go into cannibalism. If you had to eat somebody, would you? Would you eat? a? Let's just say in a scenario where it, it was ethical or it wasn't like an enemy or it wasn't like. You had to. You had to. Sure. Where, where do your ethics come from? Well, <laughs> let's just say somebody who you knew was like... As a philosophy minor I, I want, at the great university of Florida <laughs> State. Uh, <laughs> if, if, somebody, if somebody else, like, in their will was like, you, I want everyone to eat me. Like, would you draw the line there? Would you never eat somebody? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I would eat somebody out of necessity to live. Uh, like in that, what, book or movie? Like, if, alive, you, were, if you had to. Alive, yeah. If yeah. I had to for survival... I guess that's the question would, is where do you draw the line of, of cannibalism? If it means that I'm if gonna, you, you're I'm la- if worst case, if I'm dying, if I'm going to die without eating Jason, I'm sorry, dude. I got no, to Are you going to slow cook me? Or uh, what? I don't know. If, if you can, I, don't know. I just want me to be most delicious for you. Like if you're going to eat me, I don't want you to be like, Oh, it was all right. Meal. <laughs> like if you have to put me in fucking butter, or like let it soak for two fucking well, probably months. Probably not going to have butter, <laughs> well, Or whatever. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Whatever I mean, is available. You know? yeah. In a zombie apocalypse, like 
your on your last like eat me, but make sure it's good. Like, probably being roasted on a spit or, <laughs> or fucking spit. raw, you <laughs> tart. Or or um s- uh, smoked like a dirty, yeah smoking. You know what I mean? Smoking, smoking. Yeah, smoking, you smoking bitch. Smoked. You smoked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if I taste good. Just fucking smoke me. <laughs> What's that movie uh, with Method Man and How Red high? Man? This is yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounds like yeah. some shit that they t- they would talk about. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I'd do it. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Are you are you taking him out? No. Like is this comes is no. it, this comes to this I'm like Jason's dying? Right no, it's like no. Okay, he's okay. Dead. He's just, Here's the scenario. We all moved to Country Boy Island. Jason We're says there. something fucked up. Shit no. kills him. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't have any. <laughs> we don't have any resources because we didn't plan out Country Boy Island at all. And we get there and we're just like, oh, fuck. oh shit, food. We didn't think about anything. <laughs> food. Yeah. Jason Ooh. slips and a coconut hits him and he's dying and he, he's saying, <laughs> coconut Shane, sauce. I know there's no food, but eat me, <laughs> but smoke me first. <laughs> smoke me, <bro. laughs> Gosh. Would yeah. you do it? I mean, I guess I guess if there's no food. I mean, I guess I mean there's another option. It's that if see, you don't slip, maybe you just have to cut off your own leg and just eat yourself. You know, yeah, and, and yeah, you kind of just true. munch on yourself. So Everybody what? Kind of kind of eats on on each other, <laughs> or or, or themselves. And I don't know. I mean, at what point do you find food? Or like now you're talking about an orgy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go there. Thinking, if I don't, if I don't want to kill anyone, I'd rather like chop off my own foot and eat that. Than, have like, you seen the movie Alive? Guys. I think no, it, no, not Alive. Uh, it's a cannibalism movie. And it's like basically like crosses like Alfred Packer, who like is Cannibal the Musical, who actually was the first person to get convicted of cannibalism in the U.S. But uh, it's like basically that like when you eat someone else's flesh, you become like stronger, you know, in that movie. Well, that's, so it's what, like, that's what these. No, don't you get like trichinosis or something like what? That's pig. Uh, no. And there's something that you get when you eat. Yeah. If you eat your own people, it's. <laughs> It's like, it, trichin- it's like it's like mad cow disease. That's what they got from eating mad oh, cows. Yeah, 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 you're right. And actually, I thought it was called like trichinosis or something. Of, have you guys seen Book of Eli? Yeah. And they like basically they say that like once you start eating humans, you get a shake. Yeah. They're like once you've eaten, so like uh, Denzel, excellent actor, you know, kills oh, it. Yeah. He's like so. he knows that they're like trying to trick them because he's like, oh look, they're shaking. So if I do, if you guys get the shakes after you eat that, that Jason meat, you know, you know, it was good because you, you can't get any more because you're getting the shakes for it. Well, spoiler alert, Denzel didn't say, he didn't, never mind. What? Never I, mind. I never seen, mind. I've seen it. All right, all right, never mind. Dude, that movie came out in like 06. <laughs> it's a great movie. It's, it's a great it movie. It is great. I'm not shitting I'll probably it. never watch it. Oh, you haven't seen it? Nah, oh, you should watch it. You oh, yeah, watch you should it. totally watch it. Man. Uh, it's cool. Okay. But yeah. It's like trichinosis or something. Okay, yeah, I believe you. Yeah, I think it's humanosis. Yeah, you're definitely not supposed to eat humans. But no, no, no. no. Ape, I, I ape can't doesn't kill ape, is. and human doesn't kill human. Under no circumstances, unless it was we're on Country Boy Island and we're out of food, and yeah. Jason sacrifices Someone's, himself. Yeah, sure. we're dying without eating some sort of. Because I'm the oldest. I feel like. Well, you get you get some nice, you know. <laughs> thank you, lean, lean, lean yeah, muscle. Lean, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I think if if we have to pick a Country Boy to eat, I think it's a unanimous oh, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. That's so nice. Uh, I'm mean, making Justin the raft. was here though. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, there's enough meat on those bones. <laughs> no offense. No, yeah. Ooh, is there shit talking between the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've been partying know, too much. Yeah, yeah. I guess we haven't, uh, we haven't addressed the issue that uh, Justin, he. he, he <laughs> He's not here in Champagne Chains. Wait, did something happen to Justin? <laughs> no, I wanted to make it seem like it. But, you know, Justin, sure we'll be back for the next. One. Justin's out. Champagne Chains filling in. So no bad blood. I love Justin. Oh. He's my home. No, but I wanted to build up the tension though. A little of. Well, if we cut to commercial right there, you're like what? What? <laughs> Here's the other thing though. We're definitely sewing our our rafts to get off of the island out of their hair, right? Like we're putting the bolt tie in the bamboo. Oh yeah. Out of there. Okay. Yeah. But your hair is going to be long by then, too, because why are you trying to leave Country Boy Island? <laughs> no, we're in this scenario. If we're in this scenario that we're dying <laughs> yeah. and having to eat you. Yeah, <laughs> don't you ever say I would leave Country Boy Island if I didn't have to. How dare you? 
<laughs> trying to build a fucking paradise. It is. <laughs> a utopia. It's a and you're utopia. talking That's about a scenario. <laughs> the scenario is we try to build a paradise, but then we forget, oh yeah, fuck, we need food, food money, water, and everything else. Pie. So then we have to now escape from Country Bar Island. <laughs> And maybe maybe Ooh, there's maybe that's the next backyard boys movie, Escape from Country Boy Island. Hey. It's a little bit of cross promotion, you know, we get we get some more subscribers on both ends. I I can see it. <laughs> we'll get Noah. <laughs> but yeah, so I think we all stand unanimous. Not even trying human. Not unless you have to. Yeah. Um, and if we do like, it's slow cook. If someone's like, look, they died peacefully and this is what they wanted. Yeah. Fuck no, right? Yeah. I mean, I want the Viking funeral. You know, you put me on the boat and you shoot and it burns. Yeah, because that's badass. Like, yeah, but like, not on Country Boy Island. But we don't Country Boy Island. We need the nutrients. <laughs> we need nourishment. We need, we need, no, we need, <laughs> we need <laughs> protein. Calories, dude. And calories. We're not going to burn you in the ocean. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fire? <laughs> um, so one of the thing with this place culturally is they have a lot of festivals and a lot of celebrations, but basically like every... Food, every animal gets their own day of, like, basically has their own party. So that's kind of a unique thing to them where they just have, a, I guess, a bunch of festivals about everything. Kind of like how in the U.S. we have a day for <clears throat> fucking everything. Yeah, every day has banana, something. Banana day. Yeah. <laughs> Cookie day. It's National you know, quiche just, day. Yeah, exactly. I hate it's quiche. Like, Everyone hates quiche. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's beautiful. But yeah, but they, they actually celebrate it. They don't just... I don't know. Put it on a calendar. Put it on yeah. Instagram of like, uh, oh, it's National Banana yeah, Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's like National Tequila Day like every other week. Yeah, yeah. It really it's is. Like, or it's margarita. I swear to God. Yeah, I, I swear it's like, to God. This is actually shots of Tequila Day. Last week was Tequila Day. <laughs> yeah. Totally different. Yeah. Last, so, and the week before that was Paloma Day. And the week before that was, I don't know. I can't Mexican Martini. Mezcal Martini. Day. Mexican it's like, Martini that's the same day. shit. I'm getting fucking thirsty, guys. <laughs> We're going to AA after this. All right, so get, getting into the the drinks, Country talking Boys about does not believe in AA. About drinks, um, some of the food and drinks is big there. A lot of the kind of standard Caribbean fare, but conch. They did have something manicou, which is like small possum. Okay, oh, interesting. I, I, I don't know. Not not trying that, but uh, you haven't eaten possum, dude. <laughs> were the Country Boys? Have you eaten and possum? You <laughs> no. <laughs> But I guess we're the country boys. I guess it's so probably too close to a raccoon, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Possum. I, I feel the same way about possums as I do about bats. Well, possums the one They're kind of dirty animals. Yeah, they're huh? dirty animals. And pigs. But pigs are delicious. Gosh, mm. man. They're yeah, so they tasty. So good. You're right. All the parts of them oh, taste man. good. Even the bad parts, you know? Yeah. What's a bad part? I mean, I don't know, but <laughs> like bacon is their back fat, right? Ooh. It's fucking man. Yeah. So, good. Yeah. so the other thing they have my back fat, probably not that good. You guys let me know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll let you know. <laughs> I mean, I won't. We'll cook you. A, hopefully, we'll cook you in a way that keeps you alive for <laughs> yeah. as long as possible. Bacon, your back straps. Delicious. Delicious. Just yeah. slice off a couple pieces of your calf Go from the calf down. <laughs> Your calf's delicious, and actually, we need your hair for that wrap. So sorry. <laughs> but like the Native Americans, I want you to use every part of it. <laughs> right. Every. But we're gonna keep part. you as alive as possible throughout the entire process. Thank you. Like a sadistic mummy. <laughs> so we can tell you. <laughs> and we like you, Jason, and we want to keep you alive for as long okay, as possible. Okay. So here's a question: Would you eat yourself in that scenario? Uh, I would jerky myself and Jer eat the fuck out of myself. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I feel like if, if you had a leg cut off and everyone's eating it, and I'm not not you might take a you might as well like, join yeah. in, and they're all talking about how good I am. Like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Um, the other thing they have sea moss, which is a beverage made of seaweed, which sounds awesome, awesome. Oh, terrible. Oh, seaweed's pretty good though, isn't it? Like, seaweed's felt? good, but yeah. I'm, like a seaweed Actually, it's a drink. Plus, seaweed. You're right. A seaweed drink that's not like just. Seaweed water. Yeah. I, I feel like it needs to be alcoholic. Yeah. Like then I'm in. Yeah, this was not alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, it's, it's healthy and it's alcoholic. <laughs> oh, yeah. So for alcohol, they do have a lot of rum. They have a lot of rum punches, stuff like Ooh, that. Yummy. Um, do they grow a lot of sugar cane? They do have sugar cane. Okay, I figured. Yeah. I, I don't think as much as some of the other islands, just because they're more 
Rugged. Rugged. The volcanic yeah. uh, but mountains. I did see something where it was, I think it was only 20% of the island is actually farmable. Farmable. Sure. And most of the island is jungle mountains. I would imagine that's pretty lush, though. Like, a, doesn't that volcanic ash kind of create for great soil? Yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. That's where all the I think it, coffee growing regions are in. Yeah. Uh, volcanic. That's right. It does. I just think with this place, it's just too the the terrain There's is just too yeah, yeah yeah it's not flat enough. It's yeah. not like economical to like yeah. scale. Yeah, part that of makes it, sense. Right? And then one thing I did see: there's a frog that that's, I guess, native to this island, but it's known as mountain chicken. So I assume they eat this frog. If if you're calling a mountain chicken, then I wonder if it's big. I mean, frog frog is <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, I've had frog. The only frog problem legs. is the only problem is just there's like a lot of bones. It's just like yeah, not yeah. a big It's like like animal. a quail or something. Yeah, it's like the meat is fucking delicious and all that. It's just a lot. There's a lot of work to right. get it. Right. Yeah. And then just kind of wrapping it up here, the activities, all your basic Caribbean stuff. You can snorkel. You can scuba. You can scuba dive. I don't <laughs> think it's a. A mecca for scuba diving, but you could do it. I'm sure it's good. Yeah. Decent. It's in the Caribbean. So it's probably yeah. good. You can do all the water it's stuff. definitely a reef around somewhere. At least just to kind of wrap it up, the last big thing that's something you could do here is there's whale watching year round. And it's actually. What type of whale? Do you know? So sperm whales. Oh, but then also. Favorite. Your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is. The humpback. What, what do you like about sperm whales? whales? I mean, it just likes the name. <laughs> it is still tell, like, tell me one thing about a sperm whale. Give me one fact. <laughs> didn't know, didn't know, know anything. Take shit. They don't take shit from anybody. That's what I like about sperm whales. Oh, they give it. Is that, they, give is it. That. they don't take it. Okay, well, you knew more than I thought. So, hey, maybe you can go here and, and watch them in, in the act. But. Is it really whale watching? Yeah, so, so sperm whales actually live around this island year round because the water's warm, probably from the volcanoes. Probably, hey, you uh, might also, find a where it's at in the globe. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think just I don't know something about this island. Maybe it's Champagne Bay where those whales feel all nice and comfy. Maybe it's boiling yeah, lake. Like Fancy Maybe whales, boiling lake. What kind of what kind of whales are we talking about? Um, so sperm whales were the big thing where I think really? it's the only okay. place you can see sperm whales year round. They're just always there, but they did say not just other whales, but, uh, dolphins and right. just all kinds of big, big sea creatures. We've kind of gone through the run through. Let's just, we already kind of know the, the answer to this, but what are we saying? Are we going <sighs> there? I mean, I'm down. I, I would go there. Um, yeah, I really want to see this Valley of Disillusion. Yeah, really the Valley of Disillusion that. and the Boiling Lake. And, yeah, Boiling that Lake. too. And, of yeah. course, Champagne Bay. I mean, got to see Fuck that. yeah, sounds see awesome. See some whales, some dolphins. Sperm. I mean, you're probably not, like, you know, drinking a whole bunch, but I think it would be a cool experience. Well, I think there's a lot of rum there, so I think yeah, you, you, are are drinking. you can be drinking. You are well, drinking. Then, yeah. It's a for sure yes. Right. I'm going. There's I'm, alcohol. There's some volcanoes. Some weird lakes. And some sperm whales for Jason. For everyone. <laughs> Not just me. But mostly you. But mostly me. Mostly you. Yeah, I think that sounds Are you going? I think it sounds fun. Yeah, I no, I think I'm I'm definitely going. I think one thing for me, at least with a lot of the Caribbean islands, you're just like, oh, it's a beach. Oh, it's drinks on the beach. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Is is awesome. Cool. Sure. But like, for me, I want something else too. Oh, what else is there? We're the country this place. We're not the basic place. This place. You know, we're not like, oh, sand and water. <laughs> like, there's more to us than that. This place having the volcanoes not really much. <laughs> and all the other stuff. It seems like there's just a little bit more than just, hey, sorry, St. Kitts and Nevis. But this place sounds more exciting. I'm yeah. gonna say it. St. Kitts and Nevis. <laughs> St. Kitts and leave ya because I'm going to <laughs> Dominica. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. How hard is it to get there, though? That's probably I mean, a good question. Yeah. How much are what's, flights? What's the close, is there it's airport? probably not. But I, I feel like just from it's what I was a researching. probably a multiple flight thing. Yeah. It's oh, probably yeah. expensive no to get there. To Austin. Yeah. But probably uh, not yeah. super yeah. cheap yes. when you're there, but probably not. It didn't seem like it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. One of the very expensive islands. No, like St. Lucia or some other place right. that's been commodity. So I think it's yeah. probably affordable once you're there, but it's probably not cheap to get there just because right. they don't it, they don't have a lot of It does seem like traffic. the islands fuck you. You know that like they'll offer like sweet 
the ones that are bigger and have more tourists, they'll have cheaper flights. But then you get there and the hotels are like 300 a night. You know, then like the shittier islands are like really expensive to get to, but then everything's dirt cheap when you get there, but no one goes there. That's how I think this is, where it's probably more expensive to get there, and then once you're there, not too bad. Sure. I think we've we've wrapped this one up. Let's too tight. Let's uh talk about what we're doing for the next episode. Yeah, we're going next. Next episode. I don't think we're gonna go to a country, but I think we're gonna take a look back. And oh. all the countries that we we've been to. Oh, a recap. Oh, nice. We're gonna do a recap. We're gonna do the best of. We're gonna give out awards to each country that Ooh. deserves them. What about? I was thinking, could we do like a test where like you have a test for us, like a uh, you know, and then it's like, please God, no. Like how well <laughs> are you listening? Please to? God. No. <laughs> 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 if so, all right, well, the, multiple choice though. No, you know, multiple choice. I know you do like, well. Anything about the countries? It's going to be all the other shit we talk about in stuff. between. Yeah. yeah, super fan Sean over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do it. We can do some tests, but basically, we're gonna give out awards for all the countries that we've been to, and we're gonna we're gonna see which one out of this will be our twentieth episode. So out of the twenty Whoa, countries, we made it. They we're gonna say, we <laughs> as of now, where do we stand? Who's the best? Who's the worst? Who's yeah. the middle of the road? So all right. we're gonna answer all those questions on the next episode, and it's I've, gonna be a there's a couple bad. It's gonna boys. be a joyous sure. event. So we'll see you then in episode twenty, the big dog. The big dog, nice. All right. Yeah.